Hi guys, my name is Christina and welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna share with you three books that helped me learn human anatomy. That's right, I'm gonna be sharing with you just three books, the three books that I think you need. I'm gonna be linking links to those books via to purchase a PDF or to buy a physical copy down below. If you can get your hands on exactly those books, I'm gonna explain why those three books are the ones that I think are the most helpful in order that I will show you, that you can find books that are similar to this ones. So I hope this video is gonna be enjoyable for you and yeah, let's start it. Well, first of all, you can notice that the lighting is very different. It's the first time since I got this setup that I'm actually filming during day. Daytime. I'm not sure why I didn't before actually before I was doing it because it was a winter time and it was very dark every time I come home from work but now it's summer it's been summer for months and for some reason <laughs> I never thought that I can actually film when it's still bright I would still wait till it becomes dark in order not to break the continuity of my video visuals I don't know let me know what you guys think about this different lighting situation and yeah let's go to the books so first thing first I actually went to art school and I spent a lot of years in art school and then when I went to university we had whole dedicated classes on drawing, painting, all of that. So I have quite a lot of background. However, what I can tell you, I personally wanted to learn how to draw humans, how to draw anatomy, but there was not enough coverage in art school, even in depth art school such as we have in Russia, dedicated to specifically to anatomy would be learning how to draw overall shapes, how to draw lightning and everything, but anatomy, human specifically, we were basically just limited to live drawing or maybe, yeah, basically just live drawing and I think live drawing is not good for learning anatomy at all there is a thought in the traditional like very conservative drawing community that you have to draw do a lot of live drawings from people to learn anatomy and I strongly disagree I think it's actually the last stage of learning how to draw anatomy and in the beginning if you just started absolutely not helpful and you're gonna waste a lot of time so I'm gonna show you how I kind of self-taught myself to draw anatomy and it was very effective and actually I saw huge progress within a year of me practicing constantly. Another thing that you need to know, you have to practice. But basically those three books were very helpful to lead me through this process of learning how to draw anatomy. So the first book that I'm gonna mention is called Drawing Cutting Edge Comics by Christopher Hart? 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 It's weird? I don't know how to read exactly his last name. Hart? I'm sorry, Christopher. But basically, I'm gonna show some of this book on screen. And it was a great book to start because it actually shows you a lot of very simplificated, very simplistic way to draw anatomy. And his style is very beautiful and he's very confident in this style. And his style is very Western hero comics type of style. And it's very exaggerated. If it's a woman, the style really exaggerated female shapes and make her look sexier. It's more like a sexier style, not in the sense that people are sexually attractive, even though they are, but more in the sense that the style is meant to exaggerate the sex of the character. If it's a female, you gotta be very sure that it is a female. She's gonna have hips, she's gonna have breasts, she's gonna be big lips and beautiful lashes and everything. If it's a guy, he will have super wide shoulders, he'll be super masculine and everything. This style is very simplistic. However, it shows you the base of where muscles can go. Because when I just was starting to learn human anatomy, things that I absolutely didn't understand how to draw belly, how do six pack connect to rib cage, how, you know, what are the muscles here? And and in this simplistic style, it gives you a very good introductory to what visual human anatomy consists of. Because human anatomy for artists is not really about like medical anatomy, it's more about combination of muscle joints and bones. It's a combination of part of anatomy that we see on the outside, that we see when people are moving. And this book really gives you very simplistic, very straightforward, very obvious representation how this anatomy can look like. It has a lot of different characters, female, male, it's, it goes through different poses and and again, shows you different characters. And I think this book is fantastic, super helpful to just introduce you to this very good anatomy basis to just help you understand where which muscles roughly are and like how anatomy of a human being just overall kind of looks. So this book is a fantastic start and I recommend to start with it. So when you're done with this book and when you understand this exaggerated anatomy basics, I would recommend you jump on the second book in my list that is called Drawing Human Anatomy by Giovanni Civardi. I'm sorry. Giovanni, I hope I'm not really butchering your name, but basically this book is phenomenal. I actually stumbled upon it on in a, just a Russian bookstore and actually it had Russian name, my version that I had it. This book that I have, I don't have it now, it's in Russia. It was so loved, it was falling apart because I literally every time I would draw, I would put this book, then I would put like another book for stability and then I would put a piece of paper and I would draw and every time I would like lift and see or open it on the right page and it's just this book was destroyed by me, but it is a fantastic book. And 
and it's fantastic because of the concept of how it's done as you can see in this book I'm gonna be showing some pictures from there but basically the point of this book with every page Giovanni Cifardi the author of this book the artist is going through different parts of human body and it shows you both where the muscle is for example he's drawing the neck and he will show on the side of the of the page what muscle he's talking about just actually very roughly drawing it with this like skeleton and for the rest of the page he will have just sketches of human neck of how this anatomy actually works when he draws a person and I think it's very very beneficial also to see how other artists drew anatomy before you just go and draw anatomy from you know a live person or something like this because it's kind of already digested because another artist already looked at a live person and chose how to draw them and chose what things to draw and what things not to draw to make this anatomy believable and make this drawing look realistic this artist already broke it down for you and you're already getting like worked up digested thought process of anatomy so that's why I think this book is phenomenal not only it's actually showing you okay we're drawing this muscle you can see it on this skeleton and this is how you can draw this particular muscle but it also gives you a lot of sketches of this artist drawing a lot of parts of human anatomy and showing you how he would approach drawing them this is how you can learn what is important things to draw drawing certain pose certain muscles certain joint to make it realistic how do you approach it and this book is fantastic this author actually has a lot of different books he has books specifically on drawing female body specifically on drawing male body both of those two books uh, if I find them I will link them down below as well they're also fantastic it's literally basically just a sketchbook of a male model and two female models in kajillion different poses like a lot of different poses and every pose you can think about it he drew both male and female in those poses and this is fantastic because obviously it's very important to know the difference between male and female body and how they work yeah I think he has another one about drawing faces I didn't find that one specifically super helpful but it might be beneficial for you still so I suggest you check out this author overall and if you can get your hands on his books please do his work is fantastic and especially this book drawing human anatomy is superb and I think it's a great next step from understanding basic anatomy to go and actually drawing realistic anatomy with some help still connecting actual muscle to the drawing of this muscle working through those two books you will actually get pretty far and pretty well with your anatomy skills I think those two books alone are really really great and from those books you can start going to actually drawing from live people you can start you know coming up with your own humans you can start coming up with your own drawings and just playing with anatomy so from here I think next stage would be actually doing live drawings because now you understand where muscles are you understand how those muscles works and you have an idea how to draw those muscles but if you wanna I would recommend I would recommend a book called anatomy for the artist it is by Sarah Simblad and photography for this book is done by John Davis so this book is actually on more like an expensive end because it's more thick like coffee table type of book but this book is really good as especially the third and conclusive stage in this learning journey is because it kind of combines everything that you already learned with live humans it gives you photography of people from different poses and different lighting situation and it combines it with actual drawing of the skeleton and drawing of the muscles and it actually stacks the pages so you can see like just the photography of a person and then you have like a semi-transparent page where you can see how anatomy looks and it helps you to bridge this gap from knowing where muscles are to knowing how to see those muscles in a live human when you know they might have a little fat here and there for example the anatomy might not be that obvious they might be not as bony or not as muscular and it helps you to find everything that you learned about anatomy and the muscles from this nice drawing of nice and fit people and how to combine it with normal people and help you find all these anatomic elements that you already learned in real people this book is good continuation and good transitional book to actually drawing living people just going to a live drawing session and actually drawing a model this book is also pretty advanced it will not be helpful to you at all if you don't understand I think anatomy already as it is but as you go through this first book it's amazing book and it's really helpful and I also have it pretty much loved and ruined and dirty and it's covered in pencil dust or whatnot so I hope this video can be helpful for you and I highly recommend you check out those books I will leave different links down below some of them will lead you to Amazon and if I can find you buying something like a PDF that is cheaper I will still recommend it you can print it out and use them so yeah this is literally those books are so important to how I learn how to draw anatomy and I think I'm pretty decently strong in drawing anatomy at this point those books help me learn how to love drawing anatomy and really enjoy 
way and not thinking oh my god it's too advanced i don't understand anything it helped me to be comfortable with it and now i can draw like monsters and whatnot and just invent my own anatomy for fantastic creatures or whatnot and still be confident of how to sell it to the viewer so i hope this video is helpful for you and i hope those books you will find helpful and i really recommend you grab them if you cannot grab exactly those books i hope i explained kind of like stages of learning anatomy so you can find similar solution or taking yourself through those stages of learning anatomy yeah let me know what you guys think about it and if you have your own advices of how to draw anatomy and how to learn how to draw anatomy please leave them down in the comments down below and thank you so much guys for watching i hope you're having a good day and i hope to see you in my next video thank you guys